Hello. Okay, next tutorial. This look is meant to be the Wicked Witch of the West, or Theodora, from the up upcoming movie Oz the Great and Powerful, which I am dying to see. I cannot wait to see it. Um, obviously. So, <laughs> this is my recreation of the witch in that film. I don't know a whole lot about it, to be perfectly honest, because the advert doesn't tell you a massive lot. Um, suffice to say, I'm assuming she transforms halfway through the film, because there's a much more glamorous version of Mylena, and then obviously there's this version. Which, either way, look awesome, I think, in the film, so I can't wait to see. And a special shout-out to Nicholas, who's the one that gave me the idea to do this look, so thank you so much. Definitely check out his channel, I'll put the link there, he's an amazing makeup artist. So if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So for this look, I've made three individual prosthetics, a brow piece, a nose piece, and a chin piece. Uh, I've made them out of gelatin. To So you guys know how to make them, I'll pop a link here to my how to make prosthetics tutorial, which is I made whilst making these prosthetics, so it's specific to this look as well. Um, I have not uploaded, um, depending on what time of day you're watching this, I might not have uploaded this yet, so if the link isn't clickable, that's because it's not live yet, so stay tuned, it'll be live soon. So here's my first prosthetic, this is my forehead piece. Um, I've left all the edges on because I'm going to be blending them off with witch hazel and it's easy to do that after I've applied it. So the idea is that I'm going to apply some Pro Stick, which is a medical um, prosthetic adhesive and it holds really well. You could use spirit gum, but it just doesn't seem to hold as well. And this is just my most favourite prosthetic adhesive. So I'm going to apply that with a cotton bud all over my forehead and I'm going to let that dry so it goes really really tacky when it dries and then I can apply some to the back of the prosthetic and just press the two together and that should hold quite nicely. There we are so that's gone nice and tacky and I've already covered my prosthetic with some of the pro stick and I'm just going to apply that to my face. There we are <clears throat> so then I can take some witch hazel which you can get at quite a few different um, pharmacies and chemists and places like that because it's usually it's a, it's a type of thing you put on bruises and that to get rid of erythema and stuff like that so it, and that also dissolves witch hazel and it, witch hazel also dissolves gelatin really well so I'm going to take a cotton bud and soak it in the witch hazel I'm just going to get rid of I'm not going to blend it for now I'm just going to get rid of some of the edges so rather than just rip them I'm just going to soak the soak them in witch hazel and it will make the edges fall off So I'm not going to do with the blending just yet, I've just done enough so I can see properly and I won't have any bits flapping around there, so yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to take my nose prosthetic, here we are, and I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to cover my entire nose in Pro Stick and then I'm going to apply, let that dry and apply it to the back of this and apply that. And I can do exactly the same with the chin prosthetic, just like that. <laughs> and there we are. So, you should start seeing it come together, hopefully. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I'm not green and I've still got the edges on, but like the profile, for example, an ever so slightly pointy chin, hook pointy nose, and the angry brow. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave that all to dry for probably about five minutes, and I know it's completely solid and in place and it won't go anywhere, and then I'll start blending all the edges. So, when it's all dry, I can take a cotton bud, soak it in some witch hazel, just go really, really slowly, as slowly as you like, it doesn't matter, and just start rolling off on the edges and you'll see they'll just start to disappear into the skin. Right now this next step is completely optional. What I did was after I tapered off and blended out all the edges I took some of this pro stick and a cotton bud and just ran around all the edges of my prosthetics my reason for this is because I'm going to be wearing this makeup for quite a while now so um, I want it to be the edges to hold up really well so this glue will prevent the edges from peeling up ever so slightly yeah, not to the point where it's falling off I just mean from it, in HD camera recordings I, I mean you'll see the edges coming up so I want to try and get them as flat as possible this actually also answers a question for a few people have been asking me is what if they want to wear these kind of make prosthetics for a long long time and they sweat lots and whereas well, you sweat gelatin will melt so this will also help you with that it will help the edges from peeling up and it'll keep its proper stuck in place for a lot longer so I'm gonna let that dry all around the edge until it goes semi clear and I'll be able to color it actually while this is drying I can talk to you guys about the color green that I'm going to be using um, 
Now, I've searched and searched and searched for a good Wicked Witch green, and I never ever found it. For Not for, obviously, this Wicked Witch, but for the original Wizard of Oz one, and I could never find it, so I decided to make my own. So what the best recipe i found is using Snazaroo in lime green, Snazaroo watercolour, with some Snazaroo um, bright yellow in watercolour, but by, by mixing, obviously, like three parts of that to one part of that, but also by adding another part, one part of Snazaroo clown white, it makes it like a cream. So when you mix it all together, you get this really, really nice creamy colour, so it's not too bright, not too dark, which is the problem I usually find. So if you apply Snazaroo, if you apply the lime green in the zone, it's just too dark. So hopefully, that's the colour it comes out as, hopefully that will be the right colour for this look. Right, so I don't think that glue is going to dry any more than it has. It's quite thick on certain places, so it will stay white. So, <laughs> so now I'm going to take the green and a foundation brush and start going at this. So make sure to really be stroke gently and dab on the edges, just so you don't lift anything up. I've stopped at my jawline because I'm going to be painting this whole area here in black because she's got this whole, not sure what you call it, it's like a no face balaclava. It's, <laughs> so I'm going to be painting all my hairline up to about here and then all the way straight down and then I'm going to be covering my neck in Snazaroo black watercolour. I'm going to neaten this line up a little bit more in a bit, but I um, just want to say quickly, this whole black business allows me to conveniently change the shape of my jaw as well, which is really handy. Um, I'm going to do it a bit more, but I'm able to soften that line up to be a lot more like Mylena's in the film, um, or from the photos, and it'd be a bit more feminine at least. I think she does have quite a chiseled jaw, doesn't she? So not too curved, but yeah. Anyways, off on a tangent. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some black hairspray I've already blacked out my ears, I'm going to do another coat I think, but now I'm going to spray my hairline completely black. I know my hair's already black, but I need it to be really, really black because I think she's got some, you don't see any hair at all. So she, I don't know if she's bald or what, but another hat covers most of it, but even here she's got this whole costume piece changing, uh, covering it all. So I'm going to spray everything completely black. I'm going to paint the, my rest of my chest and my arms um, green at the very end, I think, for now. So now that I've done that, I can work on the eyes. So the eyes seem to be nice and simple, black, smoky, yeah. So not like incredibly smoky, but we'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> so I'm taking some black cr uh, Grimace Cream in 101, and I'm going to start applying that all over my eyelid and just ever so slightly under my eye. I'm not going to blend it out just yet, but that's the shape that I'm going for. The ever so slightly flicking upwards because we want the ch the cheekbones to look really high up. So I'm going to almost cat eye. I'm just going to round it off. And there we are. So now I can take a nice clean brush and I can just start blending this outwards. Not a huge amount, just so that there's no definite edge. I'm then going to take some MAC Black Fluid Line in Black Track and I'm just going to line my fluid line of my eye just to make them look extra dark. Right, now I'm going to try and have some fun with some contouring. So I'm going to take a MAC Black Eyeshadow in Carbon and a super fluffy brush and I'm going to start shading in my temples, so just here, and my cheekbones, making them quite dark. I'm just going to use a really uh, light yellow from my Acid Sleek palette, um, the really, really bright yellow, and I'm just going to use that as my highlight. So I'm just going to dab that just down the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm going to put the same yellow down the centre of the nose as well as a highlight. And down the point of the chin. And I'm going to take that black eyeshadow down the sides of the nose. Then I get to have some fun with the crazy eyebrows that she has in this film. Um, now, the different reference pictures show different things, so hopefully this will be right. But they seem to start about where your normal eyebrow would start, I suppose. But they go up and, t and lift off ever so slightly, so there's a very, very slight curve, but they just go up mainly. So yeah, I'm aware they look insane, but that seems to be what they look like in the film. <laughs> 
So, oh, I should mention I'm using my Collection 2000 Felt Extreme Eyeliner Pen. Yeah, one of those. That's yeah, the one I use in most of my tutorials. So, yeah, this kind of crazy, crazy eyebrow, if you want to call it an eyebrow. <laughs> so I'm going to do the other side now. So there we are. I feel so pretty right now. <laughs> I'm just going to take some of that black eyeshadow again and just go down the anger lines that are sculpted into my prosthetic just to make them a bit more prominent. Then I'm going to apply some Only Ways Essex Lashes in, oh, if I can grab them, Scandal. I use these ones a lot in my tutorials. I'm really loving them. They're a medium pair. They're really nice. And I'm going to apply those and get back to you. Then I'm going to apply some mascara in uh, by Maybelline in Colossal Volume Express, just to bond my natural lashes to the fake lashes. So now I'm going to do the lips with the black grimace in black grimace in 101. Um, it's not like a block colour she seems to have. It's like a, a black like a stain type thing. So I'm just going to lightly cover this and then blend it around. So just try and, once you've added the initial colour, try not to add any more colour, just just move it around. I'm just going to apply some black cream in the nostril area here as well, just to darken that up. And then I can paint the rest of my body using the green water colour. So I'm not going to show you guys how to do it on camera, because you literally just do exactly what you did on the face, just cover your entire body. Um, my costume that I'm using has quite a low neckline, I think, depending on which one I use. So I'm going to paint to about there, and obviously my rest of my arms here. Also, don't forget your hands. I've painted, see, before and after. <laughs> I've got some black sharp fingernails, that, um, just regular fingernails, obviously, that I've, that I've cut and used Barry M black nail varnish on because it's amazing. And yeah, so I'm going to paint this arm <laughs> and get back to you. And there we are. So I've popped on my dress and popped some um, fluff, basically, in the shoulder black pads to make them look a bit bigger. Um, I've got my witch's hat on, which is a lot bigger in the film, but... This is what I have, so hopefully it will do. Um, painted my arms green and my nails bl uh, black and spiky. Stuck them on. Uh, I've got two wolf contact lenses in, like hers in the film. Uh, and yeah. Oh, and obviously, can't forget the broom. You must have a witch's broom. <laughs> so that's it. This is my Theodora look. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, the usual. And yeah, so until next time, bye. Bye. <laughs>